Welcome to our songs on the internet, a show where comedians and friends talk about the random things that we see. The more random the story, the better. You can submit stories to internet at kevonstage.com. Today's esteemed panelists, Mel Mitchell, the baddest Mitch, Big Irish J, and Tony Baker. Yeah. First story, Southwest passenger claimed Jesus told her to open a plane door mid-flight. Mm -hmm. Doc documents say, article reads, she'll need God on her side to get out of this one. An unruly Southwest passenger who tried to open the aircraft's door mid-flight then bit another passenger, claimed Jesus Whoa. told her to do it, according to... <laughs> Jesus told her to bite him? Jesus Whoa. is like, don't put all this foolishness <laughs> yeah. on me. I need y'all yeah. to stop lying on Jesus. Jesus is like, that. do not put this on me. Maybe it was her friend, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Elam Agbegnino, 34, was on Ohio bi Ohio bound flight from Texas on Saturday afternoon when she allegedly became frustrated the flight attendants prevented her from reaching the emergency exit. Wow. When fellow passenger intervened by tackling her, she responded by biting the person on the thigh, refusing to let go until the victim forced her fingers into her jaw. Oh, wow. The crazed woman no. then started whacking her on the head, whacking her head on the plane door. Jesus told her to fly to Ohio, and Jesus told her to open the door of the documents released by the U.S. What? District Court. Wait, first of all, so, I don't think Jesus would tell anybody to fly to Ohio. <laughs> yeah. oh, That's not the promised land. On Southwest. On Southwest. <laughs> but do you know how hard you gotta bite to bite somebody on the thigh? <laughs> thigh <laughs> meat is not easily <laughs> biteable. <Right>. For sure. <laughs> thigh meat. Especially on if you're the... thick. <laughs> To you bite a thigh? thigh, thigh meat is tight. Even it is. If you ain't, it's, it's inner thigh, tight maybe skin. inner thigh meat. That's even, that's close to the private. Oh, yeah? yeah, you got the. You, you, I don't know where she got up in, but <laughs> this is just a wild. When you glad like what? How was your fight? Let me yeah, tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't believe this. Lady banging her head on the door. <laughs> I go to stop her. She bit my thigh meat. She bit. She bit and your I thigh had meat? jeans she on. She probably sitting there. She was like, you know what I'm gonna do. I gotta open this damn door. Man. And I always wonder what Jesus be like. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jesus. let me holler at you open, for a second. Open yeah. that door. Open that yeah. door. Open that door. <laughs> yeah. You anointed. Open that shit. Open it. Jesus cussed on that mission. He was like, hey, open that shit. <laughs> open that you. shit. And she, she saw Jesus in the middle seat. And he was like, hey, open that shit. <laughs> yeah, he was tired of being in I the did. middle seat. Open that He's shit. He's like, I gotta man. get out of here. Trust me, man. Trust my dad. My dad said, open that shit. If you want to go to heaven, you gotta open the door right now because yeah. you're close and open I can come shit, get you. Man. We don't know if you really gonna be let in if you don't open the door. <laughs> Show us is real. She was like, you know, or, like, that's, that's what happened in that open seating. You give people that amount of choice, now they think they can open the door. You can sit anywhere you That's want. That's true. Now you can open doors, you can bite. Delta would never. <laughs> what was you doing? Right. You were 17C. Right. Stay your body. Jesus can, don't can talk to nobody. Can I get the exit, bro? Nah. nah. Jesus don't talk to nobody on Delta. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> I always wonder, too, when somebody says, like, Jesus told me, are they, like, just... They're watching, I don't know, maybe Sister Act 2 on the plane. Hmm. And then oh, all no, of a no, sudden, they're just that. like like a little bing, and they're like, what? What's that? <laughs> She's like, hey, man, hit that door. <laughs> Jesus was in the scene from the movie. <laughs> Instead of Lauren Hill singing, it was Jesus. Like, open that exit room. So you don't even know what shoulda, coulda, woulda means. <laughs> what you mean? When you read his mom was like, you was over there singing your shoulda, coulda, woulda. You don't get that reference. What y'all talking about? Man? Tony ain't seen Sister Act 2 if you didn't watch the last episode. So he don't even know what shoulda, coulda, woulda means. I saw that part. You did not. You don't know. What part did you see, though? What part did you see, man? Lauren Hill singing, climb every mountain. Oh, my God. You didn't see that damn movie. Follow you know what you, off you know what, of the you river. Like, you remember uh, <laughs> on... Uh, you find your dream. <laughs> me, me and Marcus love this scene from Southside. <laughs> and he's uh, with uh, your boy, not Diallo, Bashir. Yeah, yeah. He's like, man, I love gospel. He's like, what's your favorite gospel song? He's like, you know what? Thousand, thousand horses to drag me from oh. God. That's Tony. It's like a thousand horses. Anyway. This story river. sounds like a spirit frontier story. Oh, yeah, yeah, Southwest yeah. has more class. They probably would have let her do it. I love spirit. Southwest, by the Spirit, way. they'll let you fly the plane. I love Southwest. Yeah. If I can't fly Delta, my next favorite airline is Southwest. If it was spirit free frontier, bags? it would have been the devil that told us. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's where he be at. The devil is that's on those cool. airlines. The devil yeah. is not welcome. The yeah. Spirit Airlines yeah. is the first thing, as a growing comedian, the first thing I put into my rider was I Must will be. not fly Spirit Airlines. Yeah. Because mm. people, at, back then I was doing a lot of churches, mm. and they was, Holy Spirit, Spirit Airlines, we got brand synergy. <laughs> the flight is $7. <laughs> 
I remember <laughs> their carry on thing. I I can't prove this, but I believe their carry on thing is oh, smaller yeah, than, than industry standard. Because I'd be like, yeah. every other plane, my stuff fits in here. Yep. And you know, people make the stuff when you buy travel stuff from like Toomey or whatever. Yeah. They or just regular luggage. They'd be like, this will fit in the thing. Right. Spirits is smaller than that. Absolutely. And the weight limit is lower. Yeah, it's for like the 50 bags. pounds everywhere else, and the theirs is like 40. Is oh, yeah. yeah. the, the, plan, the seat don't go back. Yep. They got folding no chairs <laughs> on the Those plane. Those are lawn chairs. I had a spirit flight one time, and I had like period cramps. Mm. And I'm like, this is the most uncomfortable chair. And then it was like eight babies crying because once two oh. babies start crying, they, oh, they activate. And all the babies like, I'm pussy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, why are y'all yep. competing? Man. And they chairs be loose on spirit. Oh. They don't even be bolted down. You be yeah. moving in the, the chairs be we'll sliding across. Just... I mean, they don't even I have a like... door to the pilot. You can Man. just see the pilot. He looks back. What's up? You can see it's a screen <laughs> door. <laughs> I see the pilot in there. They got the screen door. He got on a white beater. You, gotta, you hit the thing to try and get off the plane. You're like, ding. Man. Oh, Frontier ain't really that much better, but spirit. It's a step up. But the, but the people oh, be right. fighting. So spirit's reputation has been drawn down by the video evidence. Yeah. Because all the crazy stuff, it be happening at the spirit gate. Yeah. People be waiting for the spirit flight. It's a lot of unruly <laughs> characters flying down to the spirit. I mm. look my nose up when I oh. walk past them in the gate out of the sky club. I'm like, ugh. Dude, and then, and then they, they get you because they're like, oh, you want to go to New York? It's two dollars, <laughs> and then, then you're like, okay, you want a seat? That's hundred and fifty-two dollars yep. added on. You want to check yep. a bag? You know, it's like, man, I don't. They're the, the thing worst. Is, if you, me, I was talking to Melissa about this. If you are small, like a small person, mm. five three, don't less know. than one hundred and fifteen pounds, no bags. Yeah, spirit cool. is great. Spirit great. is the move. Yeah. If you're six foot, yeah. two fifty plus. Come on, let's be a little sixty plus. Okay, seventy. All right, I love <laughs> you. <laughs> it ain't comfortable. <laughs> None of the seats are comfortable. Yeah. Oh, shit. it is the worst. Now I have flown Frontier from Atlanta to Los Angeles. How was it? It wasn't that bad. Mm. Oh, Frontier. Uh -huh. Frontier. And uh, you couldn't be judged on that because we all going to LA for for All Star Weekend right. on Frontier. So it was free. Like you looking at me, bitch. I'm looking at you. We all for it. <laughs> yeah. It was sixty three dollars for that flight. Damn. You can upgrade and actually fly the plane. Sixty three dollars for a couple hundred. One way. But that's still, still. Sixty three dollars. That's, that's how a they good get price. you. Yeah. You uh, listen. People's class goes out of the window when the flight's sixty three. For sixty three dollars, yeah. I put that goddamn neck pillow on. I was just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wake me up when we land. <laughs> My son went to uh, Vegas this past spring break, and uh, he texted me. He was like, yo, I'm flying Frontier. I was like, man, I've raised you better than this. I raised you better than this. So you don't have to be doing this. Oh, my God. That was like a 30-minute flight. I yeah, can do a 30-minute Frontier flight. He was going from San Fran to Vegas. Oh, that's, that's still short, though, I would think. I don't know where San Francisco is on the map. Oh. I, I got a D in geography, so yeah. don't ask me I feel you. map you question. It's about five and a half hours north of here. I give you a lot of places, but San Francisco, I, I feel like most so, people know so that. So this is California. Uh -huh. You know, it's kind of like bow legged. We like right here. Mm. Is this the bottom of California? This is like you know how it go like this. Yeah. We in this point right here, right? That's no, no, LA. that mm. LA at the bottom. Mm. <laughs> Wait, so your whole arm is Cali, <laughs> or just your hand? Just the end of California. Wait, yeah. where, that's yeah. where LA. So is. we right here. Oh yeah, cause yeah. It never rains in Southern California. Yeah, yeah we in Southern, Southern California. So yep. this where San Francisco. Yeah, because San Francisco is in the in the elbow. Okay. Yeah, See, yeah. I knew something yeah. was in the, the bay. elbow. Yeah. The bay. It's yeah. in the wrist. So, San Francisco, us. Yeah. San, where's San Diego? Right underneath. Here? San Diego's below. LA. Yeah. It's underneath LA. <laughs> she has Even no idea. Yeah. It's at the very she bottom of right Cali. I earned that D. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you don't know that, but you were like Electra therapy or whatever the Minerva. Heck, the, the Minerva Electra complex. Now, Minerva I sound like, like a girl I dated in high school. mythology. That was my shit. <laughs> but baby, when it came to that geography, yeah. I was like, Don't let Cam make you feel bad. He had us all over the goddamn no, map that's wrong different. on the tour. Don't that's he was I like, we, we gonna yeah. we're gonna do Detroit, then we're gonna do Seattle, <laughs> and then we're gonna do New York the, the same week. Then we'll do Portland, Oregon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then we're gonna do we're gonna do Portland. Yeah, them we're gonna do Mississippi. Them Spokane. And, and then we're oh, gonna do North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. If you don't live in the Midwest, it might defend now. 
very true. We did do Detroit, Michigan, and then fly to Richmond, Virginia. Uh-huh. <laughs> we started and <laughs> went further away from the United mm-hmm. States and came back. But the most egregious thing was I had no idea that Indianapolis and Louisville were an hour from each other. <laughs> I, I, I would have never known that. Either. Chicago, St. Louis, Indianapolis, and I was like Louisville on another day. And we landed in Louis—I mean Indianapolis. The 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 sign was like Louisville. And I was like Louisville, <laughs> <laughs> and I looked at it, it was like forty five minutes, and I was like. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> but how am I supposed to know that? Yeah. I didn't realize Kentucky's further up in the United States than you think it is. Yeah. It's closer to the middle. You in think my it, mind, Kentucky is deep south. And you because uh, culturally it is. Yeah. But geographically, right. it's above Tennessee, I believe. Uh yeah, uh, so we go like Georgia, Tennessee, then because the Kentu- yeah. Kentucky's chef, yeah. uh matter of fact, uh Cincinnati Airport is in Kentucky. Right, yeah. You yep. don't know that. Mm-hmm. That's weird. That is yeah, weird. Yeah, that is dumb. That's weird. It's a That's whole dumb. other state. Yeah, and there's like a lot the of Cincinnati. states in there, in that area. Yeah. It's, it's Florida. It's Florida. Yeah. Oh Georgia. Yeah. Mm, Alabama. Alabama over there. Mississippi. Louisiana. Yes. Okay. Texas. Yep. Yes. South Carolina, North Carolina. Yes. Oh, so we went back the other way. Okay. I think it's just because Atlanta you, is I'm east the south. from Columbia. Oh, the whole not south. Really south. Texas. And this, I mean, it's like Nevada, Utah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, who cares? New Once Mexico, you get in this area, and then California, but then I'm like, right. but I'm trying to think like going up, then the yeah. Great Lakes because it's like a Michigan. That's another thing. Michigan, Ohio, Ohio. Chicago is much further from Illinois. LA than you think it is. Much further from LA. From LA, Chicago, Chicago is yeah. four and a half hours. It's way over there. Yeah, and Detroit, you would think it's Central Standard Time, but it's Eastern. It's Eastern. It's Eastern and yeah. Chicago is it's Central. Central, Central. Yeah. And I'm like, hold up, Detroit is clo- further. Yeah, how do I but know that? that? Made sense yeah, Illinois, because you're from, from Chicago. Right. I think yeah. it, the area you grew up in, you you know, now, yeah. Texas, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, North Carolina, I know. Washington, I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah but South, I don't know. South, I don't good. know Indianapolis and and Louisville. And New yeah. England is like crazy. I'll oh, yeah. everything's so jammed so together. Oh, yeah. Boston is above New York. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you ain't talking about blowing my mind. <laughs> yeah. I looked at the map. I said. Wait, New York ain't at the top? You're like, Boston, you, let's you go to New, New York. You thought New York was where Maine is exactly. in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Manhattan in my mind, is New in York Maine. is the top of the thing. And I was saying, Boston, is, hold on. And what the fuck is Delaware? It's over there. It's up, yeah. And it's that up little pocket. In. I know it's up it's in there. Above, but... It's above Maryland. Yes. Because mm. I lived in Virginia, and we used to go to the, there's a great mall in Delaware, and we used to see the Amish. Uh-huh. They was on them, them horse and What they doing buggy. at the mall? No, they was not in the mall. No, you oh. we was, we was going to the building it. And they was literally on the horse and buggy. Like, also on TikTok, there's a guy who escaped the Amish. Oh, wow. And he'd be out in them. He was like smuggling cell phones to them. He's like, I go under a bridge, you leave $200 here. When I come back in three days, uh, I mean, I'm going to leave an iPhone here. Come back in three days, it's going to be $300. And sure enough, he came back on the TikTok, and he was smuggling because they can't have no phones in there. He had them people like escape wow. Amish, escape like the cult. Yeah, kids. whatever cult that was on one of them Netflix specials. One of the girls like did it, and she was like, "Yeah, my dad is also like my baby daddy, and we all." It was like oh, a, a, oh. twenty of us. It was yeah. crazy. Oh, that's a good now. When y'all get to that deep part of the TikTok, that yeah. should be good. It'd be mess on there. If you live in the TikTok parts, like you that. know you you got it. Before they ban it, you should get on there. It's amazing. You think it's gonna get banned? Nah. You guys yeah. on Clapper? What is that? Is that porn? No, I know it sounds like the clap, but no, I somebody told me about it. Basically, everybody's going from TikTok to Clapper, well, and why, Clapper why is almost that? the exact same format as TikTok, but they you won't get banned because like well, like you know how like up. on TikTok if, if somebody up. says something to you and then if you reply back, yeah. then they report you and you get you get yeah. the community yeah. guidelines. Clapper's like nah, it's more. Why and they, we get you also back. have to be seventeen or older to get on Clapper. No, you oh. never have to be. I mean, that's what they say. So they you know. say to everything, and them kids be lying. I'm telling you, Clapper is like just like TikTok. Really? I've yeah. been hearing Lemonade. Is it Lemonade? The, it's called Lemonade. <laughs> that's where the girls are going too, apparently. So uh, everybody's doing these great there's migrations. There's too much going on. Man. I think Remind I'm out. me about the Clapper though. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna have to pull up. I'm out. I don't like tight assery. But they ain't got no <laughs> yeah. tight it's restrictions. More I'm a black woman. They're gonna be like, you N word. I don't feel I don't feel comfortable saying the N word in front of you. You gotta ease into I that. I get it. I don't, I don't feel bitch. comfortable with you saying it in front of me either. Yeah. So I, <laughs> <laughs> we just she whispered met. like I just don't feel right about it. It's two of y'all in here. I don't know. I remember when when uh speaking so, of all deaf earlier, when he introduced first time I ever met uh Russell, uh dude, I'd never heard the N word said oh, wow. so yeah. much in like a two minute time. 
and I've never had it directed at me yeah. ever that much in my life. Right. He was just like, hey, Kev, is this N-word funny? Hey, N-word, are you, what's your story? He I was, was like, wilding Russell out, bro. Simmons was N-word yeah. McGee. When I was getting the job, he was saying that in the email with the board. It was all white people on the board. And I'm like, bro, you can't. <laughs> You, I told him that like, you can't say that. And he was like, "Who's gonna fire me?" And I was yeah. like, oh, "Fair." Yeah. But True. also, this is it's kind of weird to put them in that position. He was yeah. like, "So, nigga," and I was like, "Well, listen. Man. Yeah, even <laughs> I needed the job, so I, that was the end of my yeah. like what I had to say about it. I need health insurance. Yeah. So if you ain't gonna get in trouble, shot. When your health insurance is on the line, you do what you got. Health insurance. Oh, we but was down at like... that urgent care in L.A. Man, we was down at that urgent. <laughs> You go, we were talking care. about and going from Boeing. We had Boeing's health insurance. No. I was like, achoo. Ugh, yeah. <laughs> but here, arm fell off. It's fine. I'm going to turn the kit. Because the urgent care, but they charge you before. They, mm. they give you a diagnostics. Absolutely. Are you sick? 115. Yeah. Before we can talk. 175 before we even look at you. Dog. You been stressed? In Carolina, you can't make no appointment that the one we was going Dude. to. It was it was too many people. It was next to the Jack in the Box. People was coming in there like, "Is the doctor here?" We're like, Man, dude, when I lived in Hawthorne, here. I don't know if you guys. I, I I think I posted it way. But this is like four or five years ago. Mm. When I was living in Hawthorne, I had like an allergic reaction to something, and I got all these rashes, and my eyes blew up and stuff. They thought I had septic septus. Oh, sepsis. Sepsis. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. But I'm in the I'm in the waiting room. And then a doctor comes out. After, I don't know. I waited like probably two hours. Then finally he's like, okay, we're going to take a look at you. Takes me into like, basically like, here's the waiting room. And then there's a door right here to like a little room. And he takes me up. He's like, okay, get on your side. He's like, let's see. And my he's got the door open. Oh, and shit. my ass is just facing. And I'm like <laughs> wanting to apologize to the waiting room. Yeah. Then he goes like this. He goes, okay, let me. And he took a picture. Uh -huh. And oh. I'm like, is this like for your personal health, <laughs> doc? Right. What are you? And he goes, oh, no, no. It uploads to this. That's I'm like, the okay. Tip. Wow. But when I was at the urgent care one time, I asked the doctor, I was like, do y'all ever use WebMD? She was like, yes. What? Wow. She was like, man, how you think we know? I was like, oh, oh my God. Man. She <laughs> went in there just, winging it. Because I told her what was wrong. And then I, she went in the other room, wasn't the doctor. It was like the person who does your vitals. Yeah. And you just hear. So what I was like, she when? probably not. And I was like, she was like, yeah, I was just doing it in there. Oh my wow. God. Wow. I was like, you like the same putting me in these. Well, what do they say? You don't, they don't, they don't know they're practicing medicine. That's what they say. Yeah. So I was here practicing oh medicine. Practicing law. A friend, we did ask a doctor and, and a black doctor. And she was like, they have a WebMD for doctors uh -huh. that's more like um, accurate. But she was like, yeah, we'd be looking stuff up. No, they like, can't know everything. That, that, especially if you're general medicine. Yeah, it's a lot that could be wrong. It is a lot, though. They got to know who to refer you to. Yeah. I just saw on TikTok a, a med student put in, like, the in chat GPT, or one, one of those AI things. He put in, like, a really obscure thing, typed it in, and, the like, the thing immediately diagnosed it. And this, this med student looks over to his buddy, and his buddy's like, is that right? He goes... He goes, yeah. I just I'm wasting all my time in school. Oh, wow. He just put the things in, the, and it, but ChatGPT just pulls from other like internet and all I don't that know. Stuff. How it's basically you uh, it. your boy from Avengers. Oh, uh, Vision. Jarvis. Ultra. Yeah, Ultra. Oh. Jarvis. Oh, Ultra. He just basically has, uh, bro. Internet. You know, I'm working on some movie stuff independently, right? So I was telling my friend, we we're working on like, uh, he was like, what kind of movies are can be cheapest? And I was like, usually horror films. Because they're usually one location and they have mm -hmm. less than ten cast members, right? The next day he comes back to me with like eight movie premises, good ones. Mm -hmm. I was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, how did you come up with this?" He was like, "Oh, I went into Chat GPT and I put oh. one location, eight members, uh, uh, horror, wow. and it spit out ten different one, two, three act movies." Oh, wow. That I was like, "Oh my!" First of all, four of the of the ten, I was like, "I would be interested in seeing that right now." Yeah. So at first I was like, man, I'm gonna be scared of Chat GPT. Then I was like, or <laughs> yeah, we can use uh, write this. this script. You can use this. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. want them robots coming for you one way or another. Right. Them robots I'm is scared like, of this yeah. shit. They ain't nobody gonna do what you do. <laughs> no, not like taking my thing, but just like just what they can do. Did y'all see people buying the Pope in the bubble coat or just all I, this? I, I, so I seen a tweet about that. They were saying in three or four years, you won't be able to tell if a video is real or fake. There'll oh, be no yeah. way to differentiate oh. yeah. if it was generated. Because them they... on deep fakes getting yeah. realer and realer. Pictures, the AI stuff. Yeah. They're like, a you can just forget ago, about it. A couple months ago, the fingers was like, okay, the finger looked like this, so clearly it's fake. But now they getting good at fingers. I'm oh like, fuck. Yeah. They, they learned That's by scary. the day. I don't, we don't know if you're going to be real. It's going to be like that movie with Oscar Isaac. Uh, oh, uh... 
Ex Machina or whatever? Deus Ex Machina. Mm. The dog on tur- Turing test. If you ain't seen the movie, the dude know he he meets a robot. Mm-hmm. And the robot, you know it's a robot. Like she has no hair and stuff. And the 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 goal is for this dude, the if the robot's good, you won't know that it's a robot. You'll forget it's a robot. So he's, you know, becoming friends with the robot. The robot's like, oh, I'm your friend. I'm going to help you. I'm going to do all this spoiler alert. But it, you should have seen it by now. At the end of the movie, he, she got to choose between saving the robot or saving Oscar Isaac. She saves the robot. I mean, saves Oscar Isaac. And the robot kills him. Locks him in a room. Puts a wig on. Goes out into the world as a robot human. And you're like, you're not going to be able to tell this is a robot. Like Westworld. Mm, Them yeah. robots look good. You start having sex with them. It always starts with sex. Yeah. And then the robots become self-aware. And the first thing they do when things become self-aware is be like, humans are destroying the planet. Right. Mm, we yep. got to kill them. We got to kill them. That's what happened in the Mel Gibson movie with the Ultron. plants was killing people. Ultron. It oh, always boils down. The Happening with Mark Wahlberg. Oh. That movie was trash. What movie? The Happening. The Happening. With Mark The Crappening. Oh, Moik 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 yeah. The dog on trees. Oh, my God. <sighs> That when I tell you I wanted terrible. to punch M. Night Shyamalan in the face, yeah. terrible. The plants is the evil. <laughs> Nigga. Come on. Sorry, man. I don't want to make you feel weird. All Come right, on. new story. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Tinder date leads to a man held hostage and robbed in Oklahoma City. I knew you would like this. This Oklahoma is why I put it on. Okay, see. Yeah. An online date turned into terror for a man in Oklahoma City. Three people are in jail after a woman held him at gunpoint and knife point for hours on an overnight robbery spree. Oh, wow. Um, it started about as a man meeting a female on a dating app. Uh, on it. Saturday night, the victim told police he had met a girl on Tinder dating app two days before meeting at, the, at a house party. He agreed to meet her at a residence where he, the party was taking place. He picked up a lot of alcohol and took it to the party. When he got there, the victim and suspect were joining the party with some friends. Around 2 a.m., the victim started asking if people would pay him back for the alcohol he brought. <laughs> That's when, according to police, his date and her sister pushed the victim against a wall. <laughs> <laughs> he was held by gunpoint and knife point, and the people told him they were going to take everything he had, all of his money. The woman destroyed the victim's phone, held him at gunpoint for five hours with a shot-off shotgun. He was forced to get into a car at knife point by two more people, <laughs> then driven to a different part of the city. To use the ATM Damn, it's not funny to no buy more. clothes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Got dark. The robbers eventually brought the victim back to the house, but threatened if he told police. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it's quite the weekend. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't get no booty first. Or yeah. That. I was going to say, the <laughs> things men will do to get laid. What would, you, would y'all be turned on if a woman did that to you? Pulled a shotgun on me? You just gun pointed you up and just be like, yeah, just do what we say. But turned she, on? But she was cute, <laughs> like, though. Oh, she was yeah, cute, keep though? going. <laughs> no. <laughs> she was no. cute. No. Like, yeah, just keep, we ain't Do I think you, I could beat going. her up? Huh? Do I think I could beat her up if she didn't have a gun on me? Like, do I feel scared for my life? You feel scared that she could pull the trigger at any moment, but you're not physically intimidated by her like that. But the like, gun, gun, the gun in my face. The gun, no. The gun is out for so her titties? Yeah. I would be confused. Or if she put the gun out and she's like... Get hard right now. <laughs> I can't do it under pressure. Uh, I ain't gonna be able to <laughs> my, do it. My meat will go inside <laughs> yeah. my body. Exactly. Yep. Literally. Gotta, I would have it'd be a like belly that dude come out your ass. <laughs> belly button penis. It would penis. go inside my yeah. body. Be like, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Everybody's looking. I <laughs> Get hard. Do it. But she's super cute, though. And she's just like, all right, just just stay cool. Nope. And you're going to be all right. Dude, I had the. Uh, there was <laughs> a girl. I'm scared. Dude, there was the a girl that. Uh, tone. I was, doing a, I was doing a show in Seattle. This is after I had been hosting at the parlor. And there's a girl that used to come to the show all the time. She was like a goth girl. And she was a real cute goth girl. Uh-huh. White girl. <laughs> unusual. Uh, but so we, You and a white woman? I know. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying. Uh, but we went back to her place. And we're in her, her living room. And she had like skateboard art or whatever. It was really cool. Mm. And then she was like, oh, let's go to the bedroom. We walk in the bedroom. If, if you're looking at, like, this is the bed here and this is the wall. On the wall, she had a black painted, like, goat's head hanging head on the wall. Head of Baphomet? What? The head of Baphomet? I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, oh she, And no. I was like. She's a Satanist, and baby. And I'm not, I'm not, like, a big religious <laughs> person. But I was girls. like. <laughs> my dick was like, hey, man, let's just let's just head out here. I was like, I'm good. I couldn't. <laughs> you turned around. Your dick was already at the door. Like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, you coming? You ready? You coming? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not coming, but I I'm am out. coming. <laughs> <laughs> Your dick put the hat on. Bro. Dude, I mean, it, it went yet? from like, like we had been making out in the living room. It was getting hot. And I was like, oh, shit. And then we went to the bedroom. And I was like, oh, hell no. I don't know if you got like. How did a, you get a, out of there? I was just like, hey, I got I to gotta go uh, feed the meat. I don't know what I, I said. I got to go serve the Lord yeah. with all my heart. Right? 
She Dude, works with the devil like, for sure. Hell no. Jesus is telling me I yeah, gotta go yeah. open the exit road door <laughs> yeah. on the on the flight. I gotta get the hell up out of here, show. Or hop back on this plane. Yeah, I don't know did if you really rock with Jesus Dude, like it that, was but listen. Crazy. <laughs> you gotta be careful with people who worship the devil, because did y'all hear so the dude who shot Ricky? And boys in yes, the hood I heard this really story. got into that gangster shit. He came from a good neighborhood, but after he did all the mm-hmm. hood movies, he was like, I want to be in the game. Yep, for real. Murdered somebody, went to jail for murder on death row. His roommate, mm-hmm. his cellmate, worshiped the devil and killed him in a satanic yep. ritual. And they didn't find him for days. And he did like a whole, yep. his body was dismembered and all kinds of crazy shit. In jail? In yep. prison. In jail, yeah. How did they not the find him for shot days? Ricky. They the dude that shot Ricky got killed or did the killer? He got killed. He killed he somebody, killed somebody, somebody in to jail, get in jail. But he, and he got killed in jail in yes. a satanic ritual. Look at that. Big time. They got mad videos on this. What? Yeah. yeah. That's wild. That is crazy. Uh, I thought he just was out of work. Lloyd Avery. Well, that's his name. He's Lloyd out, Avery. He's out of breath. He's dead? <laughs> yeah, big dead. Look it up. The dude he with the pacifier dead, too. Big dead. <laughs> what? He died in, like, uh, Riverside years yeah, ago. Mm. This was in the 90s, but yeah. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. Satanic ritual. So, y'all, I don't play with demons. Yeah. They had, he had him propped up on the little pentagram in there. Yeah, it was dead. a pentagram. That's what it was. And they... At first, they were like, I don't know where he is. And then they yeah. found it. It was like, Because like, <laughs> by that time, he had found Christ and stuff like that. So it was like they yeah, paid so, oh, yeah, the, he kept the same dude to with the devil him. worship. Oh. Yeah. And the devil was like, I'm going to kill you. The devil? <laughs> yeah. So he probably in heaven then. He could be. He, but, you made like that people. Vecna. But also, mm. It was very Vecna. Stranger Things, that last Stranger Things, they ratcheted it up to scary. When I oh, tell yeah, you that shit was seen good. It. Where them kids you were getting seen folded? It? Man, they were getting folded. After season two, I kind of was like, right, oh, okay, no. then we can talk about it. The last season, season four was was five. Vecna was killing them kids. Folding them up. They literally. fucking cheerleader. And- oh, God. Soldier's <laughs> Crystal. Right. I that was shit. watching it. I had, to, I had to pause it and like, let me continue this. Oh, when I, I thought day. the door was <laughs> opening by itself, I was like, Vecna is here. Right at this time. Vecna was such a good yeah. villain. Thank you, brother. Uh, that the, season was emotional for me. I cried uh, a lot. That I shit was cried a lot. First of all, them doggone children deserve exactly. Oscars and Absolutely. Emmys but and they Tonys. Stop. Put them kids 25 for next season. They got to come on now. They been through They wait hell, too man. much. But that shit was so... I didn't watch it till last summer because Netflix hit me up like, oh, you want to do Stranger Things, Stranger Things video and we'll pay you. And I was like, well, I ain't never seen Stranger Things. And they was like, we'll pay you. And I was like, well, let me go get on. They paid you, you to watch it? No, no, no. So at first they were like, oh, do you watch Stranger Things? I was like, no, oh, no, okay. no. And they were like, okay, well, we would love for you to do a video. I was just like, I can watch it. I can Absolutely. figure it out. Oh, and they sent me because I, I, I... Well, the NDA should be up by now. They <laughs> sent me like the the second half before it came out. So I saw Vecna and them before it was finished animating oh, all that other man. shit. Oh, okay. That shit was... It was dark. I made the fuck out that video because yeah. it was good. And I was like, y'all didn't... What? Nobody told me this shit was good. No, nah, it was yeah, great. I had an audition on fire. that same note for Modern Family. Um, it was like a brand new... We had to be a family. And they were like, only fans of Modern Family come audition. And I was like, nah, I have seen enough. Yeah. Never seen an episode. <laughs> we pull up and it's like, who is your favorite character oh. in the audition? I'm like... Al, the you know man. Al Bundy. Um, is Ed he O'Neal. Phil? <laughs> uh, What's the name? He, he's married to... Uh, <laughs> His name is Jay. Jay. Mm-hmm. Sophia Vergara. The mm. boy. They... Oh, they yeah. The way they be laughing and stuff. <laughs> that be so crazy. Right, we missed this. I was like, let's, let's just They were looking home. right through you. They were like... So, yeah, I'm talking about... I thought we was all getting paid. Jay and Gloria is who you were talking dang. about. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, they, and they got the son. The son. Right? And then the... Uh, Manny. Manny is Manny. the son. Ma- that's how it was because it was an interview. Manny. Yeah. He is so cool. He's a little float, yeah, little yeah. baby. Ha! Ah, that old Manny. Always what's, getting into stuff. Have you got... What's the weirdest, like, audition or something that you were like, oh, there's no way I'm, that you've ever All got? All of them. That you've never got? No, no, that you were like, I'm not doing this. To where I'm not even auditioning for? No, no, no. Or? That you like, they came came to you like, hey, yes. we want you audition for this, and whether you already started it or at some point you're like, nah, oh. this ain't for me, or I'm oh, not. oh, like that. Oh, hmm. Or do you just audition I had, for everything? I had a, <laughs> my story kind of like that along the lines, not exact. I got an audition for Insecure, hmm. and in my audition, it was like Issa Rae would personally like to see you play this character, right? So I had known Issa because I did. The choir, we got it. right. So I thought she was, you know, I'm just auditioning. I thought she was a huge, a yeah. Network yeah. approval at most. They're like, what up, East? 
<laughs> right. So I thought they had offered me the role. Yeah. So I'm at all deaf. Tell everybody, <laughs> oh, yeah, hilarious. boy, I just booked Insecure, just booked Insecure. Yeah, me, I'm finna be on there. Be, finna be out of here. Mm-hmm. Get home. Scroll to the end of the email. Here's the sides. Here's the stuff. And I'm like, oh, so, okay, so I'm going to just. No, so let me just go through the motions. Let me go through the motions. Yeah, I get Melissa right. to read the lines. Then I'm talking about two days later. Philip Hudson is booked this. Kieran booked Insecure. And I was like. Mm. Oh, you was going to be one of the dates? Yeah. And then mm. I saw the dates. I said, y'all, I, I was never, I was balding. <laughs> you, these men was young and full of vibrant. vigor, vibrant. I can't date oh, I know right? exactly what scene that is. That, that, you wouldn't have fit that, I though. never would. Why would y'all make me think I booked it? <laughs> when I saw the scene, I was like, y'all shouldn't even, because I look older than Issa by a lot. Especially the way she was up in that Insecure. <laughs> uh, you only, insecure you only like two years older than her. But I looked, when you balding, it takes some time off, mm. especially when you black and bald, and I'm not hiding it. I ain't got the fake baby jean and all that stuff. Yeah, the shoe you should get one. Like, <laughs> yeah. Have Spice piece. hook you up. Never. <laughs> I don't mind being bald. You know, the only problem I, I have with baldness is I have to shave more than I had to get a haircut. That's the only uh, the only issue. I I don't I could care less about having <laughs> hair on top of my head. I really baldness don't, don't give a bother shit. me. I just have to shave. It's just, way too it's just the the monotony of I got to shave again. Did yeah. you got the razor with the wheel? Nah. If there was something to where nothing could grow up here, I would be perfectly fine. Well, I had like it. Can yeah. I nair it? I nared my hair when I was in tenth grade. I did that and I broke out. And never did it again. Mm. I burnt the crap out yeah. of my skin. It was terrible. Yeah, it wasn't the move. We gotta find something for y'all. I know. I would do laser away if it didn't take so long. Because you know, Melissa, like you should get laser, but you have to keep going back. Nah, if I, I could do one thing. And I'd be bald, smooth, and never Man. grow hair again. Me too. I'd pay five thousand. I could care less. Damn. Because I gotta think about it every week. I'm okay. I gotta show thirty. So what years. is? Are you bald from here? Or are you bald in the middle? I really had no. I'm I'm good here. My hairline is. It looks like a Lego helmet. Looks like I just put that on like Steve Harvey. <laughs> <No. heavy submission. laughs> it. My line go is back here, and it goes straight down. It don't got. Ks, ks. That's mm. what I'm missing. Yeah. I'm receding here. Now you could Beijing it. Nah. Like, uh, I don't my hairline is in shambles. <laughs> this is. When's the last time you let it, it grow like anything? the shoreline like somewhere randomly on, a, on an island, just crooked going Make in. Make sure dry. In front here, going back. <laughs> bald when's, the, in the middle. when's the last time you let it get any little bit long? No, I don't even remember. When did, you, when did you start shaving? I first shaved all my hair off in high school because I, I messed up trying to fix a haircut. Mm. I'm like, oh, I messed it up. Shaved it all off. I was like, yo, I like the way I look with no hair. And I kept it like that. My mom was like, why are you bald here? You were Tyrese. I, like I was like, I Tyrese like this. Been bald a long time. And then I let it grow back out later on. And then I was just experimenting with stuff. But I always liked the bald head. How'd you look? That's good. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Because yeah. right. when dudes be scrambling and trying to, yeah, I, I need something to shoot polish. And I'd be like, man, <laughs> just let it happen, yeah. man. That's no, I, you, I need you the gotta head. let it happen. A lot of men, but I'm, I'm hold, privileged to have a good head shape. You for have the bald. great bald. That's the, that's the thing. You look great bald. Everybody, so now if I got hair, I'm gonna look weird. Oh yeah. You if you would. let it grow out, you have like the George Jefferson. Oh, I'm George Jefferson. I'm the police <laughs> lieutenant. I'm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> James. I'm from everybody. Good time. Oh, would you grow it out for a role? Time. Huh? Would you grow it out for a role? For a comedic role? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, you know that one black dude that's booking mad stuff. He's also on Stranger Things. He plays like one of the sheriffs. Yes, I know Rob exactly Morgan. Talking. He was in. Um, oh, Rob Morgan. He was in Walking Dead in, in the early season. He's joy. He be growing it out. It'd but he got like, the little bang. <laughs> he just be like, "Yo, this this right is what here. it is." I'm like, "Man, I respect that." He was in um, Just Mercy. He did good in Just. He's Mercy. good, man. He's great. He's good every time. He the, was in. Uh, last the chat wants you to grow it out. You guys should do like a challenge. Who can no, go the longest? I don't without. mind. Gro- the that thing about growing out. to get some braids. No, y'all gonna lose respect for me if I grow it out. Y'all gonna be like, you know, Tony was never that funny, man. I'm gonna follow this guy. I'm gonna follow. Him, My man. thing is, one, if I grew it out, when I had to shave again, it would take so long that I would be irritated. Because you have to take a lot, a lot of passes. No, nah, not clippers. really. You because if you grow it out, you just use the regular clippers to get it low, and then you come in with the bevel. No, nah, man, I said I don't want to do it. All right, man, <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> All right, last one. Actually, we'll just go to the random question generator now. Here we go. Oh boy, what part of history do you find most interesting? Melanie Mitchell. We know geography ain't your thing. Yeah, no, I like history. Um, now, when we was, I know this is dark. I really enjoyed learning about the Holocaust. Like, I was tapped in. Anne Frank, I was, I was tapped I was the fuck in invested. on the Holocaust. We went to Anne Frank's house. This World shit was two good. in general, I was fully World invested. World War II, I mean, tea. Yeah. It was juicy. Yeah. There was like the Holocaust. I, I'm here. I'm like, 
oh no, they got my bitch. She got typhus yeah. and she died. Like the movie when they cut Anne Frank hair off and yeah. all that and meet Geese and all the people. She liked the boy. What's the name? Like Paul or some shit. She liked the little boy in the attic. I'm like, this is cinema. Yeah. She painted a picture. I was like, damn, I need a diary just in case. Because this was like when fucking Bush was doing anything. Mm. I was like, damn, I need to get my diary together in yeah. case they gonna have to invade mm. the U.S. Oh so God. I need a diary. Because yeah. Anne Frank was, that bitch would have been promising. That was compelling Had she history not had right typhus <laughs> in the fucking concentration camp. When they, when they caught them, oh, man. <laughs> Is you reading the books? I was reading the books. Then we saw the movie and it really brought it to life. Yeah. Her and her sister, and they cut them. They gave them fucking buzz cuts in the fucking striped pajamas. Mm, yep. <sighs> that shit was, man, I was tapped And she just in. got the coffin. I was like, they got it. The- I'll never forget when I first learned. I was like, this shit really happened? They did to people? Man, <laughs> they had pictures? They had pictures. I was like. I World was, War II history World is. World War II is, I'm plugged in. I have watched everything man i have saving read, private ryan they oh. made us watch that in fifth grade saving private ryan is my favorite war movie Mine of all too. time when Mine the dude too. was pulling his torso oh, back to his body God. i was like we're war 10 war why are we watching this first thir- all quiet on the western front just won all the all the stuff in the oscars this past year that is world war one mm. you right world war one is compelling too. that was a uh, trench warfare they yeah, did. Trench, they did. Trench they did. Now, the Germans really fought the world twice. They did. They lost the first they time. Lost. They lost. Well, nigga, we'll, we'll, we'll be up. back. We'll do it again. They lost again. Like, all right, we got to stop doing this. When you look at the death toll <laughs> of those two wars, man, man, the Pearl death Harbor. toll is crazy. Pearl Harbor, Hiroshima, Nagasaki, yep. all the Pacific, that. Band of Brothers. Um, the U.S. really blew up cities, man. A whole city, and I don't really. You think about like, say they p- fucking drop a bomb on Long Beach, we're gonna die. Mm, yeah. Like, we're all going to die. The police dropped a bomb on black people in Philadelphia. And, and nobody In a regular nothing. day. I didn't learn about this till like four years ago. I, was I like, didn't what are y'all learn about this till right in, in, in this moment. Wait, what? 1985. Uh, what? The police dropped a bomb on Philadelphia. Hold on. Yeah. What you mean? Yes, Tony. What kind of bomb? It wasn't like atomic, because clearly no, there would be no know. Meek Mill if they really 20 years ago, it. Philadelphia's Osage or Osage Avenue, forgive me, I don't know. Was the site of a stunning force of use of force by city police after a long standoff. Police dropped a bomb on the headquarters of a radical group called Move, sparking a fire that gutted the neighborhood and left 11 people dead. Five were children. Oh. And I hate to say this, but that's really not that bad. Damn. 11 people. These incels clearing more than that, these school mm. shootings. Yeah, but that was the city killing police. Yeah. That was like literally government sanctioned. Mass shootings are government allowed. This was, the people yeah. was like, kill them. Kill them, don't people. Just, don't and then you them. don't even know about it, right? They That's why that we talk about Black History. They're like, we gonna ban the books and all this no, and stuff. Ban shit, man. They before the books were banned, history ain't never be as straight as it really was. Right. Yeah. You I didn't find saying? out about Tulsa until I was big. So we went to Tulsa. To your big oh grown. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know I about found Black out Wall Street. through the game. The, the game, rapper of the Black game. Wall he was like Black Wall Street. Uh-huh. And I was like, what's that? So I found out probably two thousand four or five about That's what crazy. happened in Tulsa. Damn. See, Dang. remember Tom Hanks? Tom found Hanks out? was like, "How come I didn't know about this?" They like, "Well, watch and that." Had, and Tulsa Lovecraft. was just one of many. Right. It happened in Winston Salem. Yep. There was like 1920. I Rosewood. keep finding out about stuff. That Rosewood, Rosewood I knew about because of the movie. Yeah. I didn't right. find out till the movie came out. '97. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Movie made 10 million dollars at the box office. All right, Jay. Uh, what is it? What? I'll give you a new one. Oh, I was gonna say last week was pretty cool. <laughs> last what part of the history? history? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Lake Lanier in uh, Georgia. Yeah, I just found out about that. I found dying. out about that. Yeah. Those are ghosts. They be dying. There's like a town built over the dead people. And I'm from Atlanta. I will never go to Lake Lanier. I Where is Lake Lanier? To, to Atlanta that I would know. <laughs> you asking me geographically. Oh, I don't shit. know. You don't even know Atlanta geographically? I mean, I don't I don't know where Lake Lanier is because I ain't never been. Because I'm never going. <laughs> she said, I ain't never going. Jay, you have I don't want to know where it is. Don't oh tell God. me. Oh, so they say in Northeast, sure. <laughs> Up 80. Well, are you doing another question or is it the same one? Uh, same one. Man, it's uh, an hour twenty away from Atlanta. I like uh, I like 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 the architecture and stuff of like the Rat Pack time. Okay, mm-hmm. you know, like uh, mm-hmm. Dean uh, Martin and Sam yeah. Davis Jr. French I mean, I don't Martin. know. I mean, like old Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that uh, time was messy. That's my second favorite mob history. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, all yeah. in. The mob built Vegas. I was gonna I'm say the mob built in. Vegas. Did you know about that? Oh, yeah, the for only sure. thing that stopped Knew the mob was corporate greed. It wasn't the police. It was corporations like, yeah. oh, you guys did a great job. We'll, we'll take it from here. Yeah, we'll There's a it. scene in The Sopranos where they try to shake down a Jamba Juice <laughs> or a Starbucks type thing. And the dude's like, if you don't give us money, then we're going to be, people are going to get hurt. And the dude was like, he's like, what's going to happen? He was like, they'll probably fire me. But he's like, we have to keep track of every bean in this place. Like, the, the police are in Seattle. They're <laughs> they going to just keep finding a new manager. You're not going to be able to rob it. And the mobsters come out, they're like, America's taking out the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what happened in Vegas. Like, the, the mob built them casinos with them doggone contracts and all that. Beautiful. Dude. And then MGM came in and was like, this is a great job, yeah. guys. You know we'll what? We'll take like it from here. set this them. shit up, man. <laughs> have you seen, uh, you were talking about the mob coming in. Have you seen the U.S. government versus James J. Whitey Bulger? No. It's I a feel do- like I saw that. I mean, you, you might have seen the movie Black, yeah. what is it, Black, Black Mass? Black I saw for sure. Okay, well, the documentary is crazy, so... It starts off where a guy, he's probably 60 or whatever, and he, he had, I think he had like a pizzeria or something. And James Whitey Bulger, gangster, Irish gangster in Boston, mm-hmm. knocks on his door with his guy, Steve Fleming, the rifleman. And uh, the guy's like, oh, you know, what's up? And, and Whitey Bulger's like, hey, so we're, we're going to help you. You're going to give us some money. We're going to watch out for you. And the guy's like, nah, man, I don't, who the fuck are you? I'm, I'm mm-hmm. not giving you stuff. And as, as this guy's talking to Whitey, his daughter walks behind him. And Whitey pulls out a knife. He goes, look, motherfucker. He goes, it'd be awful if your daughter grew up without a father. Dang! And this dude, as he's now, to this day, he starts, like, eyes watering. He goes, I realized I couldn't protect my family right then and there. Yeah. And he's like, he had to fucking give him money. Of course you did. You think Man. this is a game? <laughs> dude, They're killing yeah. people for real. Yeah. Just wild. But, yeah, yeah. I, like, I like, like, like the... Like the style too, like the suits and everything, kind of like what is that? The fifties, sixties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 For the rap back. It's a good I time. like that era because you know when they did that interview with Quincy Jones because you know he's like real C now and he just telling everybody business. Yeah. And he was saying that Marlon Brando was fucking Richard Pryor. Oh, yeah. I was like, I love mess. This is great. <laughs> Richard Damn. Pryor talked about that. Man. Marlon Brando was fucking everybody. I didn't know Quincy Jones arranged for. Frank Sinatra until I was watching the Quincy Jones oh, documentary. Yeah, he's neither. a thousand years old. He, he, he's like he might be he I'd I'd argue there might not be a more prolific musician mm. that's the talent civil, spans uh, genres. Yeah. Cause to do Frank Sinatra's prime, not just right. old Frank or young, his best stuff and, and Michael, Michael Jackson's best stuff. Right. And, and uh, yep. Tevin Campbell. And, and uh, do the score for several different films. Mm. That's not just black films. And produce a dog on Fresh Prince. Yep. With nothing to do with music. Production. It's the one that got Will Smith. To, like, who else has all that? Yeah. He's Forrest Gump for music. Right. Like, yeah. Quincy Jones, he can't touch it. He's legendary. Yeah, I love yeah. Quincy. All right, bye, man, guys. If, if, hmm. if I was that dude that got threatened, I'd be like, all right, man, anything you need, I would have shot them in the back when they walked away. <laughs> Cause you gotta have a pistol. Yeah, so yeah. It, it would have been like well, you, I can't. The, the, also, the guy he just he just opened the door. It wasn't like off guard. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would have been like, yeah, anything you need. And then when they walking back to the car, <laughs> yeah, that's how you gotta talk to these people. <laughs> pat, 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 pat. Yeah. I would have to. But then, then I mean, then the whole everybody's after you. Now your daughter, now your daughter, now your daughter don't respect you. <laughs> My daughter don't respect me. She like, yeah, you, just you let, let her get away with that. And, that, and that's that's uh, something I probably wouldn't be able to live with. Nah. That's why I gotta shoot him in the back. But then they gonna, somebody else gonna come and kill you. Maybe not. You think the mob is gonna be? They're like, not oh. gonna get the message back because Maybe they not. did. Because what if he wasn't? What if he wasn't really connected like that? Mm, <laughs> you gonna risk it? Like what's his name in uh, in the Godfather? That dude in the white suit. He was punking everybody. Uh, and then Vito peep like, man, he ain't even connected to nobody. Oh, and then there. they took him the out. The way you remember everybody's every Except character. Except Sister Act Two. You must have a like, million yeah, characters. I'm, I'm with the black man. hand. I'm with the black hand. Everybody was shook, but Vito was like, I don't know, man. They, <laughs> he they, did. They, he yeah. killed him and nothing happened. Yeah, they were like, like, you the boss now. He's really like, connected. Mm-hmm. Like I think it's just him. And then they took a chance. That would be a chance I'm willing to take. My kids just gonna think I'm a punk. <laughs> they already think that. They think Tony can beat me up. And Greg. And Brendan Haywood. <laughs> we were in the airport one day. We saw Brendan Haywood. They were like, he could beat you up. Hey. I was like, what are they telling what? you this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kids would be like, my dad could beat anybody up. Not my what are they son. telling you this, man? <laughs> They're like, I was like, you think Uncle Greg could beat me up? They were like, yeah. Teach you some MMA. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. <laughs> They're like, which which of my I was like, which of my friends you think I could beat up? They were like, mm-hmm, to here. <laughs> so you think Tony could beat me up there? Like, yeah, he, he looks strong. 
It's all about looking strong. <laughs> and looking strong. Greg but, probably would be. But Kev is mad athletic, though. He really man. is. But my kids don't believe it. Tony's hands, man. Shake your hands. <laughs> it, 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 it's like shaking a vine. It's like it's enveloping. And I have pretty big hands. Tony, take your hands and scratch behind your ear. That's why I can't let Whitey Bulger get away with this shit, man. Tony was going to grab his head. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Come here, Whitey. Let me you tell you. You the 3D movie. You know, like the Terminator just come reach out to you. You threaten me in front of my little girl? <laughs> You grab the back of Whitey's head. Oh, that's funny. Hold the knife on the other hand. Like, we just had a stalemate at the front door. I can't call it between you and Tahir. I'm about to see it. Now, Tahir probably will do something nefarious. Y'all got to be. He put that stuff Tahir will you. fight dirty. He will fight dirty like to bite you. Tahir will yeah. keep some salt in his pocket. Absolutely. He's the bad guy from Bloodsport. He, yeah. Then Tahir John Cloud Van Dam is like, ah. He had a rough childhood. Ah, that scene was so long. <laughs> when dude threw oh, the he salt. went, ah. Oh. Yeah, he's just ah, like, it ah, was so long. Ah, 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 yeah, he can't look in the different directions. Ah, <laughs> I can't see over here. Either. That's so funny. Why is the dude not fighting you right yeah. now? He had time to remember his training. Uh, yeah, yeah. What's <laughs> so much happened? Uh, they took that as, a, okay, guys, let's catch you up. This is what's happened, happened so far in these flashback uh, scenes. It yeah. Was so long. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so funny. I don't even know what the fuck y'all talking about. Oh, <laughs> you haven't seen about childhood. Oh. Uh, you were watching That's So Raven. You that know was. John Claude Van Damme? Oh, so you saw Sister Act 2, but you didn't see Bloodsport? And she doesn't even know who John Claude Van Damme is. Do you know? Some white man, I'm sure. JCVD? Man, you really <laughs> have a different life. Y'all need to cross the, the racial barrier, man. <laughs> We do. No, I hate when I hear black people like, man, it's just some some white dude. I don't go over there. Go over there. <laughs> Get in yeah, on these Jamie whites, man. Yeah, that's, he's that's not regular white. white, but that's white. He's not regular yeah, white. He's uh, big white. <laughs> he ain't from Portland. <laughs> Get in on the other race, man. Cross Actually, over. he's Belgian. That was way off. That's French. No, nah, man, that's right. Belgium. Yeah, I ain't oh, seen okay, none of yeah. his movies. Belgium is you. <laughs> it's own country. You ain't seen none of his movies. Is there, that language, like, there's a French the singer. I mean, there's a dude soldier, from Belgium who was singing. Belgium. I thought he was French. I'm familiar with, I, mean, I remember that. Expendables, that's why. I remember that. So he was speaking French. His name is Stromae. He had a tiny desk. I was like, this dude, this French dude is yeah, killing no. it. He's like, this dude from Belgium. I was like, nigga. Wait, where is Bel Belgium? is in France, right? Nah. <clears throat> oh, it's next to France. Oh, I you remember we... Europe? They all right up against each yeah. other. Yeah. I thought Belgium was in France. Geography. <laughs> Oops. Was part of Don't ask me where nothing is. Do they speak French? <laughs> yes. They okay. Speak French, Dutch, German. Gotcha. Okay. Never knew. All right. Bye, y'all. We'll be back. <laughs>